Hi you guys! Today I'm reading Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake. The author is Michael B. Kaplan and the illustrator is Stephanie Jorish. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because her mother always said, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. And her father always said, your mother sure is right about that. Betty Bunny knew that her mother and father loved her. And so being a handful must be very, very good. One day, after a healthy dinner of carrots, potatoes, and peas, mother said, who wants dessert? I have chocolate cake. Betty Bunny, who was not very good at trying new things, announced, I hate chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is yucky. What's chocolate cake? So, her mother gave her a piece, and Betty Bunny tried it. It was the yummiest thing she had ever put in her mouth. When I grow up, I'm going to marry chocolate cake, said Betty Bunny. You can't marry chocolate cake, said her brother Henry. You could marry a baker who makes chocolate cake, added her sister Kate. Or you could buy a cake at the store and then you don't have to marry anyone, said their oldest brother Bill. Betty Bunny thought about it for a while. No, she finally said, I'm going to marry chocolate cake. Whatever, said Bill, but you are going to have really weird looking kids. That night, Betty Bunny's mother kissed her and tucked her in. Good night, Betty Bunny. I love you, she said. Betty Bunny looked up into her mother's eyes and said, Good night, Mommy. I love chocolate cake. The next day at school, Betty Bunny's teacher said, Good morning, Betty Bunny. How are you? Betty Bunny said, I'm a handful and I love chocolate cake. Her teacher said, A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat. Betty Bunny said, A is for chocolate cake, B is for chocolate cake, and C is for chocolate cake. And here they are. During playground time, Betty Bunny tried to make chocolate cake by mixing water and dirt. It looked a little like chocolate cake, but it didn't taste very much like chocolate cake. Betty Bunny started to cry. I want chocolate cake, she said. Her teacher told her that they had no chocolate cake at school. Betty Bunny said, I hate school. School is yucky. Do you guys have chocolate cake at your school? Well, we don't have it at our school. It'd be kind of good though if we did, huh? After school, her mother drove home. How was your day, she asked. I ate mud, Betty Bunny answered unhappily. I want chocolate cake. Sometimes, her mother explained, you can't have everything you want right away. So you need to wait. And that's called having patience. But I don't want to have patience, Betty Bunny protested. I want to have chocolate cake. That night at dinner, her mother told Betty Bunny she could not have dessert until she ate a healthy dinner. Usually Betty Bunny liked healthy food. Not tonight. Tonight, all she wanted was chocolate cake. Her father told her, don't come to me hoping to get a different answer. Do you guys have to eat healthy food before you can have your dessert? <clears throat> it's probably a good idea. Henry said, 
If you were smart, you would eat some peas. Kate said, you should try some carrots. They make cake out of them too, you know. Bill said, why don't you have some chocolate cake? That's what you really want. Oh, oh no, wait, you can't have it. Ha ha. Benny Bunny picked up some peas. She threw them at Henry. She threw some carrots at Kate. And worst of all, she threw mashed potatoes at Bill. They even stuck to his forehead. Everyone was shocked. Even Betty Bunny was shocked. She hadn't really meant to do something so awful. Can you see that? Mother was not happy that Bill had teased his sister. She was even less happy with Betty Bunny. She told Betty Bunny to go straight to bed. There would be no chocolate cake. Betty Bunny screamed, this family is yucky. Then she remembered she was hungry. So she crammed her mouth full of peas, carrots, and mashed potatoes and ran off to bed. When her mother came into her room to kiss her goodnight, she told Betty Bunny, sweetheart, you know that I still love you. Mommy, Betty Bunny said, you know that I still love chocolate cake. Just thinking about cake she was not eating made her cry. Then it made her scream. Then it made her kick the wall, which hurt her foot, which made her cry all over again. Betty Bunny, her mother said as she rubbed her little bunny's foot, I'm going to put a piece of chocolate cake on a plate in the refrigerator. It will be your piece of cake and you can eat it tomorrow after a healthy dinner. Maybe if you know it's there waiting for you, it will be easier to be patient. Betty Bunny stopped crying. She liked this idea, so she wanted to say something especially nice to her mother. Mommy, she said, you're a handful. The next morning, Be Betty Bunny wanted to say goodbye to her chocolate cake before she left for school. So she opened the refrigerator and saw her piece of cake sitting on its plate. It looked so lonely. Betty Bunny knew that the cake would miss her all day while she was at school. So she picked it up and put it in her pocket. Can you put cake in your pocket? I don't know. At school, her teacher said, Betty Bunny, you seem very happy today. Betty Bunny just giggled. There was chocolate cake in her pocket and nobody knew it except for her. At, as Betty Bunny finished munching her last carrot at dinner that night, her mother smiled. Betty Bunny, she said, you were patient and waited all day for your cake. You ate a good dinner. I am very proud of you. Would you like to get out your cake now? Betty Bunny reached into her pocket. Her cake was gone. Instead of cake, her pocket was filled with a brown, goopy mess. My cake! Henry said, I cannot believe you put cake in your pocket. Kate said, Betty Bunny, Food doesn't go in your pocket. Bill said, guess you can't marry that piece of cake now. Her mother got her a new piece of cake and she explained that putting cake in your pocket is not really the same as being patient. Betty Bunny finally understood. She promised from now on that she would be patient. And so the next morning, when Betty Bunny opened the refrigerator to say goodbye to her new piece of cake, she remembered that she couldn't put it in her pocket. And that is why she stuffed it very carefully into her sock. Is that the silliest? You can't put cake in your pocket or your sock, right? 
Okay, have a good day. See you later.